Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. And what's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra.
If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level 5. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Snake, don't do that. We're going to the commander's room. What are you doing? It's a good thing you hooked Colonel, your niece is fine. Thank goodness. We can't relax. Not yet. I know. Snake. She's quite a woman. As commander of this operation, I can't ask you to watch after Merrill, but... Duty first? 
Maybe I was wrong. Sending my own flesh and blood to war. She understands about duty. I know she does. But what I want to know is, what was the real purpose of this military exercise? I don't know. Like I said, I'm nothing more than a middleman. Is this transmission being monitored by the military? Of course. I get it. All the world's a stage and we're merely players, right? Yes, but even players can influence the play. I just hope we can prevent it from having a bad ending. My head! Oh, it hurts! What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake! Are you okay? Uh, uh, what happened? I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Now, let me read your mind. No, perhaps I should say, 
your past. You're a careless man, aren't you? And you're a poor warrior as well. However, you are skillful at eluding traps. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Your memory is completely clean. Hmm. You have not said often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as flat as you can. That's good. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. What do you think now? Can you feel my power now? The demonstration is over. Mr. Foxhound, the commander is waiting.
Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You... You doubt my power!
Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting.
know your weak point. Meryl, stand right where he can see you and blow your brains out. Ah! Stop, Meryl! Mr. Foxhound, the commander is waiting.
where he can see you and blow your brains out. Ah! Stop! Meryl! It's you. No! It cannot be! No! Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. That doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So... You used the other... I... I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I will read your future. Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. You have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish. An atavistic desire to pass on one seed. 
was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. It's the first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. Infinity. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. <laughs> for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. It's strange. It feels kind of Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? 
old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go.